Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around guiding you on the board and how to build it. So if you watched any of my other build guides, they are getting pretty old, but there's not much that has changed. The changes I put in one video called like the stats and stuff, so you can just search on the channel for a, a stat. Uh, increase basically over what came into delves and all that stuff i will also link it in the description to get to check it out if you are seeing any old ones but i usually update all my guys if something significant happens or link to it like a bunch of stuff that you guys can carry on and get yourself updated on any build uh, updates there might or reworks to any other classes and so forth but this guide is for the Bart. So let's just jump into straight what the Bart is all about. So the Bart is of course a fist user and I said of course <laughs> they only have one fist user so I'm, that was why they put in the fist user again but you might be wondering well fists are usual physical damage but there is a little thing with the Bart that fist for the Bart actually turns into magic damage so it's a magic damage user and everything else you should think as magic damage so I would kind of like it would have liked it to be that anything you know all your um, all your physical damage would turn into magic damage that would be super cool but it only uh, works for that so when you put in your gems and stuff like that it has to be magic damage gems not physical damage it's only the claw that is you know your fist or is your uh you know magic physical damage that turns into magic that's what i mean so as you can see i'm using you know crystal three hats and face and weapon i didn't manage to get a uh to re-roll the second stat or the third stat technically uh, on my fist before the week was over uh you know i was farming this up until the bard release and i got myself a crystal three fist and unfortunately it has max health on it, but I'm gonna change that into crit damage instead. I want that instead. So right now it's just gonna be physical damage. I'm leveling anyways, but eventually I will turn it into crit damage. Next up we have the hat and I again went with the critical damage. I went with magic find and I went with attack speed. So attack speed is really, really good for the part. It does amazing damage. So attack speed is something and it just feels when you level it up, if you get yourself a hands, uh, your hands on the part, it feels just a lot better to, to have that magic, uh, not magic find, sorry, the attack speed on it. Attack speed just makes it just feel a lot better when you are fighting things, especially when you are leveling up. So yeah, crit hilt damage, a crit hilt damage and magic find attack speed. That's what I went with. You can also win, go with some max health if you are interested in that because I just went with the magic find because it is going to be squishy anyway. So yeah, I just went with that the magic find instead. But you can go with some max health if you want to do so. But for the face, you're going to go with critical damage, magic, uh, magic damage, and then again, attack speed. That is what you want for the uh, board as well. So always with the magic damage, you shouldn't choose like max health or anything like that. You should get yourself some magic damage in there as well. So that's all the gear uh, for the weapon, face and hat. So for ring, I went with the, again, with the magic damage and the critical hit while I was leveling up. I might wanna change this into something else because as you can see, I'm not completely leveled up. So I still have some slots in here that's gonna give me some more magic, uh, sorry, critical damage and critical hit. And I am actually already a 114% critical hit. So this wouldn't make a lot of sense to uh, have on as the critical hit, right? You want to change it into something else like maybe jumps or you want to like energy regen if you are big use of that on your ultimate and stuff like that. But I don't see the big problem in that. So you can kind of go with whatever, but uh, as you know, the critical hit is very non-usable right here as it is right here. So next we got the ally. I uh, went with the Avier. I think that's how you say it. Of course, with the 300 light, the 20% uh, magic damage, and with, with the 15% health when you die nearby. There, there's a few choices. You could also go with the, uh, the Puck uh, if you want some cooldown reduction on your abilities, but I don't really use my abilities. I just auto attack. That's how I level up. But you can go with it, whatever gives you more attack speed or something else. It's very, uh, there's really a lot of, uh, you know, allies that you do that. But you got all these, of course, I do have a guide on that on the channel as well. There's like talks about all the allies and stuff like that. But like one like this, the Ferdinand could be attack speed, could be something where, you know, uh, actually would work really well with the uh, Bart because it is also a very far fast farmer. So 
Uh, I might want to go with this instead. I just kind of like the 15% uh, when something died, but it might be something I want to maybe use in the in the future. Who knows? But uh, yeah, attack speed does work really well. So yeah, you, you, you could use this one as well, depending on which one you have. But I, I went with this one. Maybe this is better uh, for leveling, and this is like better for the end game as well. So of course we got a banner. I don't have anything uh, crazy. I just have this need to change uh, charger. But of course you want to go with you know the big one. I can show you really quick uh, quickly what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be this one: 900 life, 500 magic damage, the flask capacity, and then of course the movement speed as well. So this is what you want to look for if you are looking for making a banner. But I've only gotten one uh, the permanent one, so I just have this one. And since I'm still just leveling and. My Draco is still my main. You know, I'm not gonna switch it over to to putting on the board to, while I'm leveling. I can I can do what, all I need to do with this one as well. For your flask, I of course use Death Defying as we, many of us always do. Uh, of course, with the Arcane Emblem to get that extra uh, magic damage, and I'm using the Bountiful Emblem as well. You can go with whatever you kind of want. Maybe you want to go with the Trailblazing if you want to go even more speed, or you can go with the un uh, Unwielding. The unwielding is going to be really nice if you take a lot of damage. It won't like spam use your uh, your your flash charges. I'm using this because it has a chance to not consume a charge. I kind of fell in love with this, and because it can actually, you know, work both when you know it, the death define works uh, procs itself, but it can also work when you use it yourself. So it's not it doesn't only uh, work towards uh, you know if you use it or if it uses itself so sometimes you will get free charges out of that as well and since uh, you do get up to a certain amount of power rank and then you just basically don't take that much damage if you tend anymore and such but those are the ones that I was using of course if you are under 100% uh, critical da hit like if you are under 80% that is Anything above 80%, you should use some of the other emblems. But if you are below, uh, you know, 80%, uh, you should use this one because after you know the 80%, this is not going to be super useful for you. But yeah, this is the sure strike that gives you 20%. So when you do use your your uh, your uh, your flask, you are going to get yourself a hundred percent crit hit. All right, moving on. Before we get into the all the gems and stuff, I'm going to talk about the subclass. I went with the uh, knight, and this is mostly because of the extra flash charges. I just love flash charges. It's just amazing. And of course, the movement speed for mounts is not too shabby either. But there's a few choices you can go with as well. I was looking into the whole uh, glacial ward. This is the ice age one, because this one, while it's active, the shield actually gives you movement speed, magic damage, and attack speed. And there's all sorts of stuff. And you actually also get 750 magic damage when it's, you know, fully leveled the Ice Age. So it just seems like a good choice as well. So if your, if your Ice Age is better, uh, both level-wise and power rank, or you can see my Ice Age is pretty close to the same rank as my Knight. But if it's like 10 or 20 uh, power rank better, I would definitely go with this. The Glacier World can be a great choice as well and it's really up to you what you feel like if you want the extra flash charges or you just want this shield and i haven't done any testing but uh, it seems like this could be a solid choice as well and of course you can also go with the um, with the attack speed here if you think like in the beginning maybe like it feels like kind of clunky you're not shooting that much but it the uh the critical hit thing is kind of meh because it doesn't really root very much and very long and all sorts of stuff but Attack speed, you know, it does feel pretty good as well. So, I, but these are basically the ones you want to look into getting for sure. All right, so that was the subclasses. Let's move into the gems. So the gems we have is, I also have a few gems here. This is the ones I need to suck it into here, of course, but these are not the big ones. But of course you want to go for magic damage, crit hit and crit damage. And you want to try to get your... Uh, bumps. Let me show you guys the bumps. If you're not, not sure what the bumps are, that's what I mean with uh, bumps. I'm gonna put them here. You can see I put uh, the just the bumps, the extra things into critical damage or into magic damage. Of course, you want don't want to really want it into the critical hit. Uh, I haven't optimized this cla uh, this guy yet. So, but it doesn't have to be two in this one. It doesn't have to be one in this one. But 
You can have three on this one and three on this one. Uh, if you want to min-max, you can of course go in ahead and do do so. There's people that make calculations all over the place on the internet. If you want to like completely min-max your character, but there's not any content that is that is necessarily uh, need all that min-maxing as of right now, as the uh, tr uh, you know bar the tune-up update, whatever, right? Unless you go really deep in the delves and stuff like that, then of course you want to do that. But then you also have a brighter knowledge about the game, so you probably don't watch these guys for me this is more of a broad uh, picture of how you're gonna build this guy and uh, let me just go over then now which ones I go in for of course I went with the class gym the class gym is essential it is very very needed it's absolutely must even if you're not even using your ultimate uh, it, it's if you want to use your ultimate at some point the ultimate and the class gym just works so well together it's absolutely amazing so one of the better class gems out there for sure so you gotta get have to get this one next i went with the explosive epilogue and this is just because like it's just feels a little smoother when you, you usually try to group the enemies up and stuff like that and then explode them so uh, epilogue is always a really solid choice but not the big big guy in this whole thing the big guys i would actually put it as plural because the big guy is the pyro disc the pyro disc is absolutely amazing on this one it has uh, kind of a shorter range it does go out to around here but that's still like the pyro disc will be around you like here so it will be quite on the edge so you will, you're going to be very close to enemies so that's what i feel like at least when i am playing it or how i'm been leveling up i feel like i'm pretty close to enemies anyways usually if you're a range class for example like the shadow hunter has a crazy range and you kind of use that as to stay away from the monsters you kind of get more into the whole uh, nitty gritty things when you are playing the uh, part but that for a shadow hunter a pirate disc wouldn't work because you're, go you're gonna defeat things so far away because you want to use your range to your advantage but here it actually really works and also the pirate disc gives you movement speed and again you want movement speed you want attack speed and stuff like that but for a pirate disc it doesn't give you attack speed but just give me movement speed while it's active so but you do have to defeat something before it you know activates and I feel like the damage scaling on the pirate disc is pretty crazy so uh, definitely have felt like it carried me uh, quite a while uh, for that as well the next big boy is the berserk battler you can go with the vampiric as well or maybe while you're leveling or something like that if you want to do so but for damage uh, for the end game whatever you're gonna call it at the Berserker Battler is absolutely essential, not only for the increase to the light, but also increase to the attack speed. So that is just absolutely amazing. You, when you're this prox, you just like you are shooting so fast and it just feels so great. It feels so smooth and everything. So it just feels really good to do so. Of course, you want to put your all those augments or bumps, whatever you're going to call it, into the light. So I'll, I have to use move one of these over to this. So if you have a gem looking like this. You can still keep it as this for a while, but of course you want to move these into here, and of course you want to put this as, you know, 100% uh, if you are going to main the part. Uh, I can actually really show you really quick if you don't know. This is my Dracolite, and you can see all these stats are perfect. You know, all the lights uh, bumps are into that. You can see it's also in here, and of course getting the critical uh, damage and magic damage is what you want on those gems because they're a little bit spe uh, more special than the other ones because you cannot re-roll away from the light you can see i cannot re-roll it away if i put there uh, i can oh because i don't have any but yeah you cannot re-roll away from the light the light is permanent on it and also that is the magic damage as well so anything you can re-roll on the lesser uh cosmic gems is only the critical damage i can turn that into all the other things that is critical hit and max health and stuff like that but we want crit damage because it's just so much better so going back to the part uh the, the best circle battler is amazing like i said you can go with the vampiric if you are it's just it's just gonna be your random farming class you know you're just gonna play it every time that it's all for the contest or whatever it's gonna feel uh, very good to just you know heal a bunch if you are just farming on it but if you really want to go into doing actual damage on it you want to go for the berserker battler the other one is just more utility i would say so it's not that the the vampiric is a bad choice the battler is just so much better than all the other ones are so yeah i think that covers everything that i wanted to say with the part uh the you know thing with it is that it's pretty cool i, I like the uh, vulnerability 
Uh, the ultimate is a little tricky. It's a little tricky, but not something you can't handle. I'm pretty sure when you've tried it out a little bit. If you see my uh, PTS server, I actually learned how to do it while I tried it a bunch of times. But it's super fast when you get it at the Jubilee. And I'm going to show you guys the Jubilee aura or the Jubilee buff if you get it. So let me just press my ultimate. And as you can see, it as the very first one. This is the Jubilee song. This is the one that you want. So when you use this... Uh, I, can, I can also do some of these. Of course, it's going to level up. And now you can see it's this. Let's go to the Jubilee again. Let's rotate it. And now we have to auto shoot. And now we're all in the Jubilee again. So this one is going to also, you can see it's like people that are cheering around you. This is going to be the one that is going to give you all this attack speed and movement speed and all that stuff. Oh, sorry. I said attack speed. Of course, I mean max energy. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, of course, all this also buffs into the class gym. So you know, the ultimate works with the class gym and it works uh, with the ultimate. So it's very necessary because it just buffs it to be even better. It's already good it, and the class gym makes it even better. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, the class gym is, is super necessary even if you're not going to use it. Like I said, I am. I usually just run around out attacking and then sometimes I do use the vulnerability if I see like a hit coming in or something like that. But Usually I just auto attack. That's just how I'm going to level and probably how I'm going to play it because the ultimate is a little, uh, I wouldn't say next level. <laughs> There's nothing really super complicated, but yeah, it's uh, it takes a little while to get used to and like kind of look at it. And I just, you know, I've been, you know, leveling this guy while streaming. So I usually just have my eye on chat and then my auto attacking is just going to destroy anything there is. And I'm, I'm doing U10 on this class with no trouble at all right now as of, 20, you know, 27,000 and being level 26. And I started uh, at 24 or something like that. And I had like around 20, 21,000 or something like that when I uh, started doing that. So very cool, very awesome class. So I don't want to make this guide any longer. I think I've rambled on enough. If you have any questions or if you feel like I missed something at all, make sure you go to the, the comments and put it in there. Also, again, go to the description and check out uh, either all my builds for some other you know classes they are like I said a little old but you just have to be kind of wary of the descriptions just go always to the description I always have them updated you just keep an eye out always for that so watch the guide look in the description or go and ask me on the discord I'm always on so you guys can always ask me questions if you have any concerns about a build or anything like that I'm always going to help out you guys with all this stuff so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye.